there's a way to make an entrance. <laughs> My destiny. It was now a conspiracy of witches. Download Veely today. I guess the other man ran away, too. Who were they? A couple of would-be bad men I've seen hanging around town. Uh, probably some old man Taylor's gang. That's where all the trouble comes from. Did they do any damage? No, I think they're trying to scare us out. We're buying this place from Horace Black, the lawyer. I wouldn't put it past him to be behind it. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. I always had an idea that Black was square. Then you don't know him very well. Where's your brother? In town, like everybody else, spending what little money we have on drinking and gambling. You see? You see? Old man Taylor again. Uh, maybe even lawyer Black Green Cahoots. I'll tell you that Taylor place has got to be running out of business. See, you know, I'm drinking a dry place. Oh, that's one way. But it'd be a whole lot quicker to buy it and give it away. If you expect trouble in this lane, why don't you notify the sheriff? I can handle it. Good thanks, Oh, don't, don't miss me. <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, next time you do any shooting, you call your shots. I ain't had time to look yet, but uh, I think I'm packing some of your layers. <laughs> <laughs> if you need any help, you know where to find it. 
Say. Good morning, gentlemen. Morning, Mr. Black. How's, uh, how's the law business? Oh, fair. Did I hear a rumor you'd like to tell your mind? <laughs> ah, if you did, it's wrong. Well, if you ever want to sell, give me first chance. I didn't know that you were in that business. Well, I'm not, but I might have a client who would be interested. Hey, uh, what kind of devil talk is that? He says he wants to buy and get eaten that business. Lawyers always talk that way, bud. Hey, sir. Why we pay them lawyers to find out what they mean? That's right. Now you remember that. <laughs> hey, uh, where's Taylor? Not here. I didn't ask you where he's not. I asked you where he is. I don't know where he is. I'm not worried. What do you have? Food. You know where to get the food. Hey, a couple of hungry customers. How about a little service? You'll get it when you drop the bread and get some quite a snack for more. Well, now that's no way to treat a paying customer, is it? Oh, then how do you like this? I'd like to buy this place so I can fire that kitchen gopher. You're not getting any ideas, are you, bud? Well, it'll be a lot of fun to run a place like this. Get even with a lot of people I know. Well, I can dream, can't I? What luck? Oh, uh, none at all. Why? Oh, I don't like this kind of business. In the first place, I don't like to fight a woman. Especially a good-looking one. And then when said woman starts to throw a lot of lead, well, it's just too much for me, that's all. I told you to frighten her, not fight her. I want that lame spread, and I intend to have it. Are you sure it's the ranch you're interested in? Or the girl? Another remark like that, and I'll kill you. Oh, don't get sore. I, I was only kidding. I don't like that kind of humor. Let's get on with the tailor job tonight. When I get through with him, he'd be glad to give his place away. Uh, ain't like homemade grub, but at least I didn't have to cook it. Hey, the vittles ain't nothing like they used to be when I was around here handling the skillet. <laughs> what do you know about cooking, Webfoot? The name is Webb, and you know it. Now listen, stop calling me Webfoot. Well, you're hanging around on that slop water all the time. You want to be Webfoot by now. <laughs> Did you used to cook here, Webb? Well, uh, darn right I did. Till old Terry bought the place, and then he fetched his own cook. Hey, where is Taylor? Oh, he's out buying cartridges. He expects trouble. And I expect he's right, too. I told you so. Taylor's going to shoot up our men, and we've got to do something. What, for instance, bud? I don't know, but I'm going to corner that old coot as soon as he comes in and give him a piece of my mind. You better take it easy. I haven't got much to spare. Do you really think the interest of the lost gold and bear mine is under Taylor's place? Rumor says it is. Taylor's never denied it. Well, then any price you pay Taylor for his place would be cheap. But if that's so, why don't he do something about this cell? Maybe lacks capital or initiative. Here comes young Lane. Beat it out the back way. I don't want him to find you here.
Hello, Jimmy. I want to borrow some more money, Black. You're never going to get your place paid for it. This way, Jim. You're increasing your debt instead of reducing it. Listen, I know what I'm doing. I'll hit a lucky streak at Taylor someday, and I'll just pay off the whole thing. All right. How much do you want this time? Oh, a couple of thousand. Have a drink, Jimmy. Sure, sure. Good idea. Have yourself. Thanks. Taylor shows up pretty soon. I'm kind of getting out of the notion of having trouble with him. Yeah, you are. Uh, your fella never hurt anybody. Uh, don't let him fool you. There you are, Jimmy. Find this note. Simon, I owe you. That's good enough. Well, now, let's be legal about this, Jimmy. You're a businessman. Sure, business is business. <laughs>
Jones? Oh, hell, hey, Billy asked if you have seen the Yukon Uranium. I won't lie, even for you. My job is to guard this mine. Well, uh, you, you don't have to tell him if you don't ask you. That suits me. I'm again all unnecessary talk, like the present. <laughs> Get her out. Let him How is he? He's not hit hard. Good. I'll go back and check on front. I found him a fuzzy made his stand, but he's gone. I hope he hasn't been hurt. I don't think so. I think he's up to something and he's trying to avoid me. Jim, think you can ride? I think I'll be all right. Okay, I'll help you on your horse.
they left town after you did. I thought they were after you. Uh, they were, but they missed me. Now, let's get out of business. Uh, I want a contract and a legal bill of sale and a uh, heck of four car puzzles and, uh, and all, all that sort of stuff. I'll give you a bill of sale as soon as I weigh the dust. I'm sure Jim will be all right. I hope you find Fuzzy. I will. <laughs> He's probably going back to the mine. Have you any idea who's causing all this trouble around here? I think so. Thanks, sir. Don't mention that. Bye, Miss Lane. Well, there's your bill of sale. And good luck to you. She's all yours. <laughs> well, guess I'll have to do a little clean up around here now. Hey, now you can tell me what's down there. You promise you won't tell anybody? Not a soul. <laughs> you, you don't say. I've got to get out of here before Black finds out what I've done. He'd kill me if he knew. What ails you? I'm just worried about what Billy will do to me when he finds out what I've done. Oh, what if I made a mistake? I saw Fuzzy arrive with the gold dust. Old man Taylor will probably try to sneak out with it sometime after sundown. Watch out for it. We'll take care of him. When you get back, we'll go to work on Fuzzy. back here and clean out the safe, I wouldn't stand here talking. You take the regular job as dealer. Fuzzy won't know the difference. Then all you boys will make some money. I always did want to get into a game where I knew the dealer. You two stand by and back up Kurt's play. I'll beat it. Kurt. Keep an eye on Dent. I think I know signs of a yellow streak in it. I won't think of the same.
That looks good. Give me that. Come on, I, I give you something. Come on, I, you just sit. 
you stand right there now. This is no right spot there. You can stay right there and I'll, I'll get it for you. Mighty lucky, Buzzy. Five black jacks in a row, and they jack, too. Same oh. cars you was dealing with. Look okay, here, man. Five jacks. That's the sixth one, and five eight. I wanted this easy for you to make 21. You know what we do is put the gamblers around here? Just what do you do to them? Go on. What do you do? We take them apart and find out what makes them cook it. Here I saw him slip those extra cards in that deck. Either of you want to take it up from there? I had no part of it. That's good. Now get him out of here. You two can come back if you behave yourself. If he comes in here again, he better come in with his gun in front of him. Go on, out of here. Hey, just in time. Just in time. Seems like I'm a little late. I want to talk to you, Buzz. Well, but, 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 you, you know that I always want to own a place like this. And that part of it's all right. It but is. You... Well, thanks, pal. I, I knew you'd understand. I, uh, hey, business is rushing. I, I got to go. I, uh, hey, wait a minute. I want to talk to you. Now, listen. You're not too busy to talk to your pal. Here, I'm your pal. Don't you remember me? Well, that's Just a short. I got you. Yeah, I'm busy. You're a bit. I am. I don't mind you buying the place. You but don't, Billy. Well, that's swell. I, Cause I was scared you was going to get. Now you shut up and listen. You're into something bigger than you think. You're in a tough spot. How's that? Well, that's that old man Taylor coming into town. What'd he say? Nothing. He was dead. Dead? Why he's carrying the dust, and I paid him. Well, that's what they're after. Unless I miss my guess, they'll be after you next. Maybe I'd better hire myself a bodyguard. Hey, listen. If I don't get some help around here, I'm going to quit. Well, oh, please, please don't do that. I'll be with you in a minute. Uh, a minute's too long. You either come on right out here now or else. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Excuse me. Now, you remember what I told you, but... Being bought in a place like this would be all right if had somebody else do the work. Everything all right? Yeah. Burke and Dad are on the way to the lanes with the man that's going to serve the eviction notice. I only hope Lane is stupid enough to set up a fight. Well, he's pretty hot headed. That's what I'm counting on. Legal, Miss Lane. You'll have to vacate your ranch. We're not going. The trick of black. I signed a note, not a deed. I only understand what my instructions are. You'll have to get out. We're not going. Why, I. Jim, please let me handle this. I'm sorry, Miss Lane. Go 
it'll be time now. Get back there and meet the boys. Right. Hey, where you going? Out. You might have killed him. Well, he was trying to throw us out. Yes, and why? Because you borrowed more money from Horace Black, and that didn't quit you. You know, I like this place. How about giving me a job? You're big enough and ugly enough. I was a pretty baby. Something must have went wrong. Hey, how'd you like a job as my bodyguard? That's me. How much? Well, I'll, I'll give you three drinks and grub. Forget the grub. I'll take the job. It's a deal. Ah. Special reason Black should want this ranch? He doesn't want the ranch, he wants Ruth. He's trying to get rid of me. That's different. You know, Lane, you played right into his hands when you fired that shot. It's a good thing you didn't kill that deputy. But you'd be in a tough spot just the same. Yeah, I know. I've been way out of line. Things would be different now if it's not too late. Well, you're on a chance to prove that there's a plot against you. That's going to be tough, especially against a smart lawyer. Things couldn't be much worse. Yeah, I know. Now I'm going to back to town, look around. A couple of angles I want to go in. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Hey, Carson. Come here a minute. What do you want? Friend of ours is in a jam. I want your advice. Friend of ours? Who is it? Young Jimmy Lane. Just kill a law officer. Kill him? How was he killed? One in five. A bullet straight through the heart. Come here, I'll show you. You know, Black, that gun must have been held pretty close to burn the shirt that way. Oh, yes. Yes, of course. I suppose you've notified the sheriff. I hated to, but it's the only legal thing I could do. Sure, sure, being a lawyer. The sheriff will be here tomorrow, about noon. He's up here away. Uh, thanks, Mr. Blank. Not at all. Get out of my way. How can I get out of your way and guard your body? You don't have to stay that close. Yeah. By the way, if you see Billy Carson, tell him to come in and lend me a hand. My feet are killing me. And mention to him that he's still my partner. Yes. Come out. 
outside, Black. Or oh, talk to you. Send one of the other boys out in the morning. You lay low. nothing on me. You've got me wondering, too. I'm going to let one of them take me. Get back my sled. Where are you going, Clark? I'm going into Lane. Make Taylor buy back the place he sold my partner. <laughs> Even if old Taylor was there, which he ain't, he wouldn't have enough money to buy anything with. You're crazy. My partner paid him plenty. Yeah, I'm crazy. Crazy as a fox. It won't do any harm to tell you, because you're not going to live long enough to repeat it. We got old Taylor last night just as he's leaving town. Took all his money away from him and left him for dead. I don't believe you. <laughs> Next, you'll be telling me you shot the deputy instead of young Lane. No. Lane shot him, all right. But he didn't kill him. I guess you did. No. But I know who did. That's mighty interesting. Suppose you tell me about it. You want to hang for it, or would you rather tell me who did it? Oh, Burke did it. Black told him to, to get rid of young Lane. That ought to do it, Sheriff. It'll help. Where is Burke? Over there on the other side of the house. Uh, we'll pick him up, too. Well, what is it? Uh, you boys 
wanted to buy this place, I'll sell it to you for the same price I paid Taylor. That's a bargain, too. Why do you want to sell? Well, I can't run this place in the mine, too. Besides, I'm having trouble with my partner. Well, I was interested, but I don't know as I am now. I always wanted to give you first choice, but there's another party that's interested. Who? Oh, I, I, I can't tell you that now. He's either hiding or he's seen us and lit out. We better head for town fast. We'll travel fast if we leave Dent with Elaine, and we can explain things to him. That's a good idea. watching for. Well, that other buyer's I would be here any minute. He'd be quite hostile if he found out I was selling to somebody else. All right. But I haven't got all cash. You mind taking some dust? Well, sure not. That's my business. All right, I'll get it. You wait here. I'll be here. What are you doing with that law shark? Plenty. You hang around. There's going to be some trouble. We'll sure hold him for you. Then we won't lose our ranch. No. no the sheriff's not going to press the charge against Jim. Be behaving himself. You can count on that. Thank you, 
when they're here. They're going to plot the murder. Me. Contingent upon the absence of the old and bare mind being under here. Uh, what does he mean? That don't matter. He's dead. You mean I got this place and the money too? I don't see what else. But I don't want this place. Then give it to somebody. Shooting's all over. Come out, Wentford. Listen, the name is Webb. I told you that a hundred times. Now quit calling me Webb, boy. Oh, I'll try it. <laughs> hey, how would you like to own this place? <laughs> I wouldn't have it as a gift. <laughs> That's just how you're going to get it. It's yours. <laughs> All right. If it's mine, the first thing I'm going to do is fire the cook. <laughs> but, but that's me. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I'd buy this place and give it away. You win, but you sure did it the hard way. Now, come on, get that money and put it back in our safe. Maybe. Yeah. 